Good morning and thank you, Ruth. Um, my name's Sally Hall and I'm a Nutrition Homewood nurse. Uh, good morning, everyone, and my name is um, Jo Van Wick. Um, I'm part of the marketing team um, at Nutrisha, taking care of the Flope Care product por portfolio. Um, before we share more about our project, I just would like to give you a bit of background um, on what we do here at Nutrisha. Thank you. Um, at Nutrisha, we provide uh, products and services to more than 29,000 home enteral tube feeding patients every year across the UK. Uh, we have got a dedicated nursing team, which Sally is um, part of, um, and um, they are taking care. Sorry. One one slide back, <laughs> sorry. And they are taking care of um, these patients in their own homes or any other care settings, but also um, throughout their discharge journey. Uh, when patients are tube feeding at home, it requires a tremendous amount of medical equipment, um, which a significant amount, a part of this uh, could be single use plastic. Both Nutrisha and the NHS have environmental policies in place now um, where we commit to reduce uh, the, the use of this single use plastic, which is what this project is all about. Next slide, please. So a little bit of the background of where this project started. Way back in 2019, I went out to do a routine visit to visit a family who had two children, both had complex needs and both were enterally fed. Um, and the type of feed that they used was a powdered feed, which needed to be reconstituted and put into a container, a plastic container that was single use. Um, and this meant that this family between the two babies had a total of 280 containers every four weeks delivered to the door. Well, that's the equivalent of 28 boxes and as you can see in this picture here along with those boxes is all the other boxes of equipment that's needed to go with that feed and this poor family had that every four weeks along with all of the other equipment that the children needed just for everyday life and mum was struggling with storage as you can imagine and she actually asked me if there was any alternative to these single use containers so that got me to thinking and I went away and thought about it and I discovered that in our Ansel um, portfolio we had what we call a universal bottle adapter which fitted perfectly onto just an ordinary baby bottle. This could then be just used in configuration with the, the usual stands and things that they were using already for the feeds. Um, so I took this forward to our paediatric dietitians and explained that this, how this could be used and one of them was quite sceptical at first and she was like, no, I don't think it will work. I don't believe that that smaller bottle will fit in the frame, et cetera, et cetera. So I went along to her office, took along the feeding frame, um, along with the, the, the feeding bottle, set up a feed, literally jumped around her office to emulate what would happen if this feed was being given on the go until she was happy that it was actually quite safe and quite sturdy and it wasn't going to leak anywhere. So then we decided that we could take it forward and just offer it as an option to families that if they wanted to, they could actually buy a totally standard baby bottle that they could then reuse, wash in between uses, sterilise just the same as you would any other uh, baby bottle. Most of the families were happy to do this, they were very happy to take this on. And that just meant that the, these families every four weeks weren't getting that mountain of deliveries that meant that they had less storage to make. It was less safety problems because, you know, storing all of these boxes was a safety problem. It was even just mobilising in and out of the rooms and much less recycling because these families were having to recycle all of these plastics, which sometimes meant that they needed to contact the council for a new recycling bin, which cost them money. So it was, it was an ongoing effect for these families, but it made a big difference for them. Next slide, please. So, learning from Sally's experience and also um, having a look at our patient satisfaction, uh, satisfaction surveys, um, it was very clear that um, plastic and packaging is a huge concern to many more patients than just um, what, from, from what Sally was um, experiencing. We also knew that these con these containers um, were a big contributor to plastic usage. Um, and we realised that there is actually a really big opportunity um, to make improvements to many more patients, but also improvements for um, uh, that has an impact on the environment. Um, it was important for us to make sure that we find a safe, reliable option um, that we can um, make accessible 
to as many patients as possible. Although Sally's families were um, able and willing to purchase baby bottles themselves, we understood that that would not be an option for everybody out there. So we took it upon ourselves to try and source um, um, uh, an, an alternative um, that, uh, that a lot of other people could use as well. So working very closely with a local manufacturer, um, we were able to find a suitable alternative um, and we sourced that, getting it all ready to roll out nationally. Next slide, please. So initially, this was just rolled out very locally to where uh, my, my area is, which is in South Tees and North Tees. Um, and just with me taking it out to families and offering it as an option, within the first year, we reduced the amount of flow care containers being delivered by 33.5%, which is quite a huge amount. And then obviously in, in November 2020, when we had the, the reusable bottles there, we decided to roll it out nationally. And within the first seven months nationally, we reduced that floor care container delivery by 11%. With the ambition at the end of 2021, we'll have made a reduction of 20%. And that equates to the reduction of half a million containers being delivered in a year, or 26,000 kilos of plastic going out onto those doorsteps. There is already um, on the feedback, there's less complaints or comments about the packaging that people are having to waste. Um, so that's just amazing. And just a couple of um, feedbacks there from, from patients. Uh, just wanted to express how delighted we are on how well the new universal bottle adapter and baby bottle is, is for us. It's fantastic, great. We haven't got all the plastic waste of the containers. So easy to use and great to store and go out and about with, as you can imagine me jumping about in that office. And one there that really gets to me every time I see it, washing and sterilising reusable bottles is normal and it makes me feel like a parent and not a nurse. Next slide, please. So we are very proud of what we have achieved so far. And on the reflection, we just would like to share some of our key learnings um, with you today. Um, it was really important to get key stakeholders in our organization on board um, to roll this out and demonstrating the scale of the concerns um, was a really um, a big driver in enabling us to gain momentum internally. Um, it was also really important, we realised, to make this whole change of practice as easy as possible for everybody, um, just to make sure that we, that we um, take all possible barriers or as many as possible out, out of, of the equation. Um, a big thing was to regularly communicate and regularly remind people that actually we do have this reusable option available now. People get engrossed in day-to-day -day stuff, so we, we, we now have um, ways that we regularly remind our um, um, people out there that um, this is available. And I think a really big um, learning point was that sharing people's experiences. So what are other people experiencing? They are really happy with it. It makes such a huge difference. And all these success stories give other people confidence to also have a go with it and, and, and take it on board. And um, we've also learned that we need to set ourselves real, realistic um, expectations and not to try too big too soon um, to go with it. But I think that the, the best learning for us all was um, that it was a win-win. Um, no matter which way you look at this, it was a win for the environment. It was a win for our patients and their families. Um, and as Sally's ex experience uh, have shared with us th th those feedbacks as well. It's also a win for us because we are very passionate about uh, making positive experience on the environment. And we also know it is a win for, for the NHS with all their um, sustainability targets that they have been set now as well. Thank you for listening. And we're happy to take any answers uh, or to take any questions and, and hopefully we'll be able to answer those.